Hello sir. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me something about yourself. Uh first I would like to thank you. Thank you for giving us this uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, introduce myself as as well as a mock practice. Myself is Mikshan Bolap. I'm working professional. Uh, I'm, I work in management streams. Uh, nearly 15 years of experience and I am presently heading at sales and marketing department. Uh, data analysis is nowadays a huge, uh, uh, that is playing a huge portion in everyday management. So I joined uh, Lotus IT Hub to okay. brush up my knowledge and uh, gaining more details into Power BI and SQ. Okay. Okay, so first question is, what is the difference between administrator and contributor? Okay, uh, administrator is having full control over, uh, basically it's a role uh, coming in Power BI services, uh, where administrator has a full control of allocation of permissions and allocating workspaces, allocating uh, different, different uh, spreadsheets, reports, dashboards. He is having a full control and he is giving, uh, he is authorizing, authorizing it to the members or, or distributors or, or viewers to uh, uh, working on to it. Okay. In particular areas, the contributor is the person who will create uh, visualizations, who will create access the data uh, associated or rather giving per permission by administrator. Okay. Can we say the administrator is owner and contributor is developer? Uh, yeah. Okay. He is having a full rights on to the entire uh, see, uh, 365 suit, you can see. Okay. This is a part of services. Yes. What is the difference between dashboard and report? Uh, report and dashboard. Dashboard is a dynamic single page, general, often a single page, where one can see a uh, 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 high level review of any particular generally dashboards are getting used to track the analysis or ident uh, track the analysis or identify the uh, analytical day to day perspective okay and report is generally a in detailed view which is may which can may come up with a multi multiple pages and having a little bit amount of visualizations the dynamicness of slicers and different uh, measures and uh, you can say uh, bookmarks and drill down functions. Okay. That is that that is a specialization of Power BI which we can use in dashboards, not okay. in the reports. Because okay. Report right. has certain limitations to it. Right. So do you have used DAX in your yeah. project? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is the count? Count is to measuring uh, generally measuring rows or tables. We we are using command like count rows and getting okay. the output of it. Okay. Suppose that we have data for Pune location, can we filter? Yeah, we have to use a filter command and filter and uh, uh, address of that particular uh, file and the column name and filter it on double strings Pune. So it will uh, filter it on location where city is Pune. Okay. <laughs> So, what is the difference between Power BI desktop and services? Uh, Power BI, uh, rather it, it is a complementing each other. Power BI desktop is a free tool where when we can we, we can download it freely from Microsoft website. Okay. And we can utilize it for creating reports. Uh, it's, it's a business intelligence tool which we can use it in, uh, which we can use for creating reports, identifying uh, different different data as we can use multiple data data from different data sources and uh, it is having more than say 40 different visuals which we can uh, allocate into it uh, it is labeled with the databases behind the background so we can have uh, 100 plus database types we can create uh, we can uh, clean up that data we can transform it Okay. We can shape and uh, make it uh, user friendly, or w b where we can use visualize it. Okay. This all comes in Power BI Desktop. Okay. Power BI Services is complementing it with uh, publishing those reports within the contributors, members, viewers, <laughs> and and do, uh, giving them permission, per permissioning them to use it for appropriate purpose. 
it is mainly coming as a distributing and uh, distributing as per their own licenses okay okay fine so what is the dif- uh, difference uh, do you have used merge and append yeah, yeah yeah so what is the difference uh, basically both are combining the two both are coming with the uh, situation where combining of two table is essential mm-hmm. one is doing it horizontally and one is doing it vertically means if we uh, are both are coming as a merging of uh, tables where record of uh, it's a columnar record where common columns will have another uh, common columns at merge function okay and in append it will come down to the end of the row okay. so you can say it is horizontally it is vertically okay fine fine so what is the distinct and unique in power bi uh, distinct is removing duplicate values okay generally it is used for uh, removing duplicate values and getting unique uh, values out of it okay and unique is something where we want uh, unique values okay so so it is a same types but having different functions to it okay so type of schema in power bi uh, in power bi we have uh, two type of generally used schema one is star and one is snowflake huh. in star it is uh, denormalized which consumes lot of sizes of spaces okay you can say and in schema it is generally uh, it's normalized so it is much accurate star is bit complex in nature to understand in data modeling perspective okay Sk- uh, snowflake is sorted bit of so generally uh, we use star more okay that a difference uh, difference between direct query and power bi import uh, direct query is something where we are going to work on parti- we are fetching particular data or particular records okay importing it something we we are directly getting the record a copy of a record okay fine in uh, data f- in data uh, in query we are not dealing with all the data only the retrieval part of it okay. but in uh, import we are directly dealing with the data okay fine okay so uh, so how many data source do you have used on your project uh, presently i worked uh, mostly with excel okay importing excel mm. uh, certain level of sql okay in power bi okay fine fine okay okay and powerpoint as well powerpoint okay okay so we are here for the data analytics inter- interview yeah. so we are coming with the sql okay. okay what is the difference between truncate and delete uh delete command is part we are using in a conditional format where we have to delete certain rows or certain specific filtering out uh, values w- we want to delete okay truncate is something like we are removing the records without uh, and uh, rather untouching the structure of the table okay and constraints or triggers which we have associated with that table okay which one uh, which one is uh, better Uh, performance wise truncate is better okay which one is faster truncate is faster okay so difference between drop and truncate drop is com- uh, where we are uh, completely dropping out or removing the particular table hmm. we use that when we are working with large data sets and we want to do uh, drop out completely with structure with str- uh, with uh, constraints and everything Oh. with the data good and truncate is as i said it is it is uh, removing all the rows row level data hmm. but keeping the, that structure and constraints which is attached to it okay fine a type of joins uh, it's a inner join left outer join right outer join full join or cross join okay major which one do you have used uh, i use the inner join inner join oh. the left outer join left outer join I used it, but oh. generally uh, I I worked with the data which are combining nature. I never came across situation where I need completely a left table information and a common information in right table. Okay. So I I maximally used in this. What is the left outer join? Left outer joining is uh, where we want uh, complete uh, records from left table and common records from right table. Okay. So we will use it uh, using. we can have fetch out the data using left outer join functions okay what is the primary key 
primary key is some uh, identifying key which we have derived generally it comes as a id or something okay. which do not have any duplicate values which okay. is not null and every table will have one only one primary key okay what in the foreign key foreign key is uh, some reference primary key we can say in general hmm. which may have uh, null values which may which will be uh, unique in that particular table and which will get referred to a primary key which is mentioned in some other table okay we in, in the syntax we always refer it as a reference to someone's primary key okay so uh, um, the question is that suppose the parent table is having 1 2 3 and child table is having 1 2 3 i am trying to insert 4 is it possible no it's a, it's a parental relationship so we cannot disturb child okay we cannot add on it because it is if yes. we want to later on if we want to delete so it will uh, as, as it is having a constraint okay so fine it will get replicated as it will it will show error that uh, yes it's a constraint okay so uh, if i want to suppose the uh, my table is having 1 2 3 3 and the child table is having 1 2 okay i want to delete data from parent the id suppose 1 is it possible no uh, okay what's the error come it will show us uh, it is having a constraint okay constraint so constraint means ki uh, if i want to delete delete then what to do uh, i have to first remove that constraint alter it alter it then okay is it possible to delete data from child yeah it is it is possible then is it possible to delete from parent yeah if if that is not con- in connection with child and parent then we can delete from parent okay okay if, uh, f- uh, fine so constant we, ha- we uh, uh, not null what is the not null not null is that uh, particular value which uh, that particular uh, say stream or data type or whatever we are so setting that should not carry a null value to it okay it should have certain value is a must okay so do you have use varchar data type on your project yeah, yeah what is the mainly use of varchar uh, where it is coming uh, we have to give a uh, strings uh, type or characters which we are giving variable characters we, which we have to use so so we use varchar and okay okay thank you mac for your, your time Okay. Do you have any question for me? No, it was wonderful experience to learn at Lotus IT Hub. Okay. Actually, being a professional person, I mean, last fifteen years I'm working somewhere. Hmm. Understanding new concept or refreshing or refreshing my knowledge was a main challenge. Okay. But with your you know uh, ultimate guidance, I have through it. Okay. Because lastly, uh, I was learn when uh, that was. 10 12 years old okay when i had been to any class or had a classroom training yes yes so it was wonderful experience okay thank you thank you for your time okay thank you sir.